Okay, guys, here you go. Here I am on my last run, my JFK 50 training plan, or my higher running 50 mile ultra marathon training plan for the JFK 50. And uh, just a short four to five miles. So, my house to the Sunshine Bridge back home and up on the hill above the house. And this training plan is done and put to bed. But uh, I'm only about a mile and a half in, so still got a bit to go. Well, I'll leave it up to me to have a fail on my very last training run. <laughs> uh, my watch is about, it's at 1%. Dang it. Anyway, I got two miles in. Time to turn around and go back. I'm going to hit the, go back on the trail, and then I'm going to uh, hit the hill behind the house, run the trail there up around the school, and then uh, back down to my place. Well, here I am again at the top of the hill, the stadium down there. The boys are down there practicing, or should I say, the young men down there practicing for their second playoff game is going to be Friday night so uh, I'll try to catch them up catch up with them on Facebook to see how they did but it's getting dark I got my orange on so I don't know if anybody is out there in the woods they can see me I guess but uh, we'll finish up these miles I should have almost four miles when I'm done uh, well, I will. I have four miles. And then uh, it's time to tell y'all about my strategy for finishing the uh, JFK 50. Okay, guys, here we are down to the uh, final training day for the JFK 50. My, as you saw, I did my last run for the uh, higher running ultra. 50 mile ultra marathon training plan uh, for the JFK 50. The JFK 50 is this Saturday, November the 19th. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow is a rest day, and then Saturday or Friday is a travel day for me. And uh, uh, Saturday will be the race, of course. Um, a little bit of strategy I said I was going to talk about uh, for this uh, final video of my training uh, series, I guess. Um, it's going to be a sunny day. It's going to be like, I think it's going to start out about uh, mid to high 20s, but the high is only going to get into the low 40s, supposedly. But, you know, we are going to be up there on that mountain for the first uh, 15 miles. So uh, the race starts at uh, Boonesboro and goes to Williamsport, and that's both in Maryland. Uh, Boonesboro up to... Uh, Connects on the Appalachian Trail about, I think, two miles out. And then connects to, like I said, to the Appalachian Trail uh, somewhere along the, somewhere somewhere in there. I don't know exactly where for sure. Um, it's uh, it's in the race, the, the course description, but I just don't remember the, all, all the different places yet. But um, it's uh, Appalachian Trail for 15 miles. And that is... It's going to be covered with, with uh, have rocks and roots and leaves and trees and limbs and branches, all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's I think that's going to be like the slowest part for me anyway to go through. I haven't done a whole lot of trail running, elevated trail running, but um, I have done uh, elevation. Uh, did a few runs with uh, going up and down to 50 on the hill there. At the beginning, I was doing some trail running up here on the at the school, but it was um, it didn't look too good up there at first, so I kind of stopped going up there. And just recently, I did do two runs up there just this week, and the last run was up on the uh, the trail by the school. But it got too dark for me to finish the video outside when I got back here. That's why I'm in the house in front of one of Stacy's murals here. So. Um, after the, for the first 15 miles on the trail, uh, the, uh, aid stations are kind of, uh, uh, a little further apart than they are 
on the rest of the trail or on the rest of the race be, just because um, you know you're you're up on a mountain so i think there are maybe you have to go like maybe five or six miles be in, in between and i've gone five or six miles before without having aid stations or whatever but i am going to have my hydration pack and i'm going to have my gatorades in the, in the bottles um and i'm going to have uh i'm going to have some some of my own nutrition with me i'm going to pack it in whatever i've I'm going to have my pants with me that's going to have zippers on them, so I got that. And I am going to wear my orange jacket, I think. I'm going to, I'm going to double layer my shirts and then wear that orange jacket that I have. It's kind of a windbreaker. Uh, it, it's not exactly waterproof. It's water resistant, but uh, not expecting any precipitation. So hopefully we won't have to worry about that. But um, I think um, I can use that to help uh, keep some of the cold air off of me maybe but uh, I'm gonna try it I did use it today and it seemed to help um, I'm going to uh, have a pouch I'm wearing my pouch with me uh, it's a pouch that I uh, that Stacy got me a while back and uh, I'm gonna wear that or my fanny pack as the kids used to call another one that I wore for my first ultra marathon I'm gonna put some of the things that I'm used to eating my oh, well, while I'm out on the uh, on my running stuff, um, just I like to eat normal foods. I'm not a um, a gel pack person. I'm not too much into that. But uh, strategy is to get through the first 15 miles. I got it's a five hour cutoff, so I got to get there somewhere between I don't know three and four, hopefully. Um, definitely enough be well before five anyway. But uh, uh, 3.30 3, or, or 4 hours, I mean, I probably can, can work with that. Then once I get off of that, uh, the AT, Appalachian Trail part of it, it's 26 miles on the CNO towpath, or it's just like a flat uh, rail trail type thing, relatively flat anyway. Uh, and it's like lime, crushed limestone, that kind of stuff. And once we get there, aid stations are, I think, 3 to 4 miles apart, so that's pretty doable to uh for that situation there to de just really depend on the course support um i've told uh, i've been told that uh, they have a lot of good selection of stuff a lot of good selection of food and uh, drinks and that kind of stuff uh, refill your water electrolytes whatever you need it's going to be out there they actually um prefer that instead of having somebody to crew you because the crews are only allowed at certain points along the race so i'm um, just i'm just going to have some stuff in case i need something in between the aid stations mostly on the appalachian trail um so it's 26 miles there and then eight eight miles on road after you get off of the uh, towpath and i think you have until let's see it's five hours and then seven seven hours on that trail on the uh, seven hours on the towpath, um, so that's uh, I don't I, I I don't remember the math on that, but uh, that's my strategy through there. I do I am going to take a list of the, take a, a chart or uh, I'm going to print out uh, from their website print out what the cutoff times are, so I'm aware of where I'm at and how much time I get to be and how how much time I have to go. To get to the next uh, cutoff thing because it's there's different points throughout the uh, towpath with that have cutoff times too but um i think once you get off of the towpath there's it's eight miles so there's two more cutoffs there before you get to the finish so and you got 13 hours all together uh with with five hours to get with five hours to get off of the uh Appalachian Trail, so 5 minus 13, that's 8, so you have 8 hours to go um, the rest of the miles, so uh, whatever that would be. So 26, so you got 40, 35 miles, you got 35 miles to go in uh, 8 hours, so as far as uh, the running part on the trail or the towpath, I think I'm going to I'm going to try to most likely I'm going to do some kind of run walk thing. I haven't figured that out, but I, I've been looking at the Facebook page, the group page, 
and um, watching some videos, uh, motivation theory running. Uh, John, he has a uh, great video from when he did the uh, the JFK 50 last year. So he has a good description of the course and what it's like out there when you're doing it. So you can check out that video. I'll have that link at the end here. And um, uh, the Facebook page, a lot of people said it's very doable for this race. If you do a run walk, just keep moving. Don't stop at the aid stations. Grab what you need and keep going. Uh, don't stop and uh, you know just keep moving. It's like a, you can, most people said they can do like a you can do a three to one run walk of five to three uh ten to three something like that just you know just keep moving and uh most people do pretty good like that so as long as uh as long as i keep moving as long as i'm feeling good don't feel like i'm hurt or injured or anything like that um if i'm, I'm making it off of the uh the appalachian trail is going to be the most difficult part for me i think um but uh hopefully that part goes really well and then the rest of it is just a matter of it's mind over matter getting through uh working through the pain when you get up to you know 40 miles or whatever you know 10 miles left there's going to be some pain somewhere whether it's uh knee pain foot pain back pain or or chafing so uh, as far as chafing i got some ideas for that i got what i need for that i'll just leave it at that so um yeah that's what i'm doing for my preparations for my strategies so uh, i'm going to rest up in the next couple of days and uh, oh remember you can track me on race day using the race joy app and uh, i put a tweet on twitter uh, to the app that you can download and enter my name and there is somebody that you want to track and then you can track me on race day to know exactly where i'm at and stuff um there, there will be sometimes when the app may not be uh updating which may just mean that for some reason the signal was lost from my cell phone. But as soon as it picks up a signal, it'll start tracking again. So uh, that's how you can find out where I'm at and how long it took me to finish and all that good stuff. But uh, have you guys enjoyed the video? Share it if you think somebody might want to know how I'm preparing for my, um, my JFK 50. It's my first 50 mile run. Uh, it's my first JFK 50, of course. And um, I'm just going to go out there and have fun, enjoy the race, enjoy the course, enjoy the camaraderie with all the other runners and stuff. Uh, if you're running it and you see me out there on, on the course, be sure to say hi, introduce yourself, because I like seeing people that watch my videos. It uh, makes me makes me feel good when, when I see that somebody's watching and getting something from what I'm doing here on the YouTubes. But uh, uh, let's see, drop me a comment, like the video, share it if you think somebody wants to know more about how the higher running... 50 mile ultra marathon plan is working for me and the JFK 50. Um, but don't forget to track me on race day. Remember, it's a great day to go for a run. And don't forget to come back again so you can see me in the next one. Because the next one is going to be race day footage. Everybody likes a good race day footage, right?